Hi, friends. This is Pastor Elizabeth from St. Luke Luther Church in Sheboygan Falls with a little children's message for today. Um, this weekend for us is Mother's Day weekend, and so I kind of got to thinking about my own mom. And so I'm going to share a little bit about my mom. As you can see, this beautiful sunflower is a painting that one of my friends made because my mom's favorite flower was sunflowers. So I thought today, since we're thinking about moms, that you might like a little craft that you could do at home and then you could give to your mom or your grandma or some special person in your life. Um, so this is a sunflower and I start off here by making a circle. And since I have all these wipes around my house for some reason, um, I thought that would be, oh, I don't have a pencil. I'll grab a pencil over here. I guess I left it here when I was working. Um, I draw a circle. You don't have to use a wipes container. You can use whatever you have at home, maybe a, a glass um, or a cup. That's also a circle. You just have to find something that's a circle to cut out and make the center of the sunflower. Now, the center of the sunflower, of course, has seeds in it. And so I did buy a little bit of a packet of seeds. You can use um, a few seeds to glue on. I'm going to do that later. Um, you could glue them on. And then the ones that are left, you can plant in your garden. And sunflowers are good because you can actually um, eat them. So that's in the center of the sunflower. Then I made, made a little shape. You can start by making a little leaf shape. And I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going to kind of show you what I'm doing here. I, make, I made about 12 of them. So it depends on what your size of sunflower is, what size of circle that you made. And you can cut them out. And then after you have all of them cut out, you glue them to the back of your sunflower. So that's what I'm going to do today is glue at least a couple of them to the back of the sunflower here. You can do them all around to make a very pretty flower, but I'm not going to do that right now. And then you need to make a stem. So you take and so you take and you just cut a long stem that you can use to also glue on to your sunflower. And I think sunflowers come in various colors too, but the yellow ones are the ones that my mom always liked to look at. Then also you can take and make some green leaves that go on to the sun. And this is a great way to show your mom how much you love her by making a little craft. And you can even maybe do it with somebody else in your life, like your dad or your grandpa or um, brother or sister. So your mom doesn't have to do the work, right? That's part of the fun of Mom's Day, is that Mom doesn't have to do as much work. So then you glue these, one on either side, and a beautiful sun. This one isn't as beautiful as the one that I, I did earlier. And then for a little extra added fun, you can glue on a few sunflower, sunflower seeds. So let's see. I, what I did was I just kind of made like circles on the, the sunflower with my glue stick. I'm just going to show you. You can just stick on a few sunflower seeds. And it doesn't have to be neat at all. Just stick them on here. And don't pick it up or anything. Just let it let it, the glue 
dry a little bit so you have the sunflower seeds all over the sunflower. So, and afterward you can take what's left, take some of these leftover seeds, and maybe you and your mom can plant a few out in your yard. And so mine, mine that I'm making now looks a little sad, but this is what it will turn out to look like. And I'm sure if you make one, please, please um, send me an email at pastor at stlukeshebfalls.org or on Facebook. You can share it and let me know um, what you made for Mother's Day or what you did for Mother's Day. Thanks a lot and stay healthy and safe and enjoy your time with your family. God bless.